Once upon a time in the days of the Raj, the sun rose and sparkled over the jewel of the east. The Raj came and went, but the Grand Dam still stands proud in the bustle of Chaurangi. Almost three quarters of a century later, we are here at the Grand to see if it fits the bill for the bill that you pay. So let's check in and check it out. Formerly, Calcutta was the first capital of the Raj. The city of joy is a place of sharp contrasts. A cultural melting point with strong colonial roots and fine specimens of period architecture in the area around Fort William and along the main thoroughfare of Chaurangi. The splendor of Raj Bhavan, formerly government house, and of course the magnificent Victoria Memorial that towers over the central Maidan. Most of Kolkata's early building developments took place in the first half of the 19th century. One such building is the Grand Hotel. Located on Chaurangi, the heart of city's commercial district, the Oberoi Grand is 23 kilometers from the airport and is one of the most famous landmarks of Kolkata. The Grand started out humbly as Mrs. Monk's boarding house at 13 Chaurangi Street, a mere cluster of five adjoining houses. In 1894, an American real estate baron, Arathun Stephen, bought parts of Mrs. Monk's estate and built a brand new three-story 500 room hotel, fittingly naming it the Grand. Some decades later, an epidemic of typhoid swept the city and the hotel had to be shut down and fell into disrepair. That's when an ambitious young hotelier Mohan Singh Oberoi leased the property in 1938 and bought it some years later and so it became the Oberoi Grand. The Grand was the second of Rai Bahadur M.S. Oberoi's major acquisitions after the Cecil in Simla. During the Second World War, the hotel had a full house, accommodating 2,000 Allied soldiers. The Grand Dame of Chaurangi once ranked as the four jewels of the East alongside the Oriental in Bangkok, the Raffles in Singapore and the Strand in Rangoon may not enjoy the same status today, but its admirers and loyalists are legion. For many in Kolkata, this is the only best hotel in the world. The Oberoi Grand's unassuming street entrance with its neoclassical facade and pillared entrance is part of the city's heritage. You are in the heart of the city and all you can hear is the chirping of birds. Yeah. The hotel is divided into uh, four sections, four wings. Yeah. That is the Chorangi wing. Chorangi wing. Yeah. And that was primarily the initial wing uh, of the hotel. All right. This on your right is what we call the Roxy wing. The popular Roxy the wing. popular Roxy wing. Uh, this used to house at one time the very famous Pink Elephant. Pink Elephant. In fact, Pink Elephant was apparently the second discotheque ever in India. Uh, then we've got Bertram and Lindsay, okay. those two wings, yeah. uh, which, which actually face the city. This pool yes. earlier was apparently not a pool, it's been... No, uh, this was an uh, open-air restaurant called Shehzad. Shehzad. Yes, and uh, where many a uh, Sunday brunch uh, was, would happen with, with live music and you know, a lot of Calcutans would come here and, and, and spend imagine. their Sundays raising around. This but would be the 60s, 70s, when was this? Yes, this was, this was the 60s, uh, early 70s. 70s. Most that we felt a need for... Uh, a pool. It is a heritage building. Yes, so it is. It before is, it you is. do any, make any changes or do any. We don't make any changes with the exteriors. You don't. No, because you know we. It's so beautiful. You don't want to. You don't want to do anything with it. Yeah. Uh, we just maintain it, and uh, what we've done is we've 
just in 2003, we finished a huge renovation where we yeah. renovated uh, and refurbished the entire hotel. 